Let's scroll all the way back up to the top. And let's click on account. Here is this member's personal account. In our deluxe system, we have a personal account system. What personal account means is whenever they earn commissions, the commissions are going to go into their personal account, and then they can set up the rules for their personal account. Okay, so they may decide that they don't want to get paid their money until they have $1,000. You know, because maybe they're in Japan and it costs a lot of money to cash a check, or they want to save up until it's worth getting a wire transfer and you charge $50 for wire transfers. They can actually say, don't pay me until I have X amount of dollars. They can also say, pay me everything I have every single pay period because that's the way I want it. They can also say, uh, pay me everything but leave enough behind for my next auto ship. So there's a whole bunch of options on how they can get paid from their personal account, and it's settable at the member's lounge. The reason the personal account becomes uh, important is we have the ability to do intermember transfers and gift certificates. So this solves the problem for the company of companies are constantly fighting with Visa and MasterCard. You get a charge back, you have problems. You have all kinds of things that create trouble uh, for your company when it comes to the use of credit cards. Because we have intermember transfers and um, gift certificates, it allows people to join without the use of a credit card. So say your big leader just earned $1,000 and he wants to sign up his two friends and their, you know, their sign up is $200 each, he can actually send them a gift certificate from his personal account, collect the money from them into his pocket, and they end up joining your company off of his earnings without you losing the Visa discount fee and without there being any capability of chargeback whatsoever. You, the company, can service charge those transactions. So you can actually put a $1 service charge or a $5 service charge for each gift certificate or member transfer, which actually puts more money back into your company. So if you are running a very aggressive compensation plan and you're, you know, you're sharing with people that you're paying out you know, 70% or something very large, uh, you can actually be bringing money back in but still having a high payout. So it can be a really, really effective system. Let's click the next link down that says Account UPD. This is just simply where you can put money in and take money away from that member's personal account. So if you have to do a manual transaction for any reason, this is where you would do it. So let's say they won a contest and you have to put $500 into their account. Here is where you would put that money into their personal account. Or let's say they've been you know, you have to give them a penalty for doing something wrong. Well, this is where you would take it away. So let's click the next link down that says payment types. This is where you can set up what kind of payment types this particular member would have on file. Now remember, the member can also set these up on their own, but our system is set up so that you can operate it in an online only or an offline method as well. So if you're doing things manually through a support center, our system can handle that for you. Um, so it can be done both ways. So here, if you wanted to add a credit card, for example, if you click on the please choose and click credit card, you'll see that it brings up all of the stuff necessary to add a credit card to the system. Then this credit card could be used for auto ship. It could be used for a lot of different things. Let's go to the next link down that says transfer history. Here's just simply the history of every time this guy has transferred money from one member to another. So you can see that he transferred uh, $50 to MLM software. He transferred that on this date at this time. So every time they do a transfer, you do have a place as an administrator to go in and see just what they're doing with their money. So in case they ever come to you and say, well, hey, my money's disappearing, you're able to just say, well, it's not disappearing. You're transferring it all over the place. They, of course, can see it in their member's lounge as well. Next link down is auto ship. Let's click on that. This is where admin can set up this particular fellow's auto ship. Most of what you're seeing here, the member can control themselves, but from the admin view, there's very often a little extra information. For example, on this view, you'll see that we have uh, the ability to add an item to the auto ship. That's fine. You also have the ability to have the method of payment for the auto ships. Now, I don't have any methods of payment turned on in this system. Otherwise, you'd see a list underneath auto ship pay method of the different ways that you allow the member to pay. Now, with all your payment methods and stuff, that's actually configurable by you within the system, which I'll show you in a little bit. But the other thing that you have the ability to do is 
you can charge people a little extra money if they cancel their auto ship. This is a famous tactic in Japan. They say, well, no problem. You want to cancel your auto ship, that's fine, but we're going to charge you $30 to reinstate it. An interesting concept because what that tends to do is make people think, well, if it's going to cost me $30 to restart it, maybe I should just leave it going until I really know I need to cancel it. So you don't get as much skipping a month because they don't have much activity stuff going on. You can add a special shipping fee, and you can add all of these particular fees once or permanent, or you can have them go with the default settings. Um, so if you set it for once, then once he has an auto ship restart fee. Once he might have an extra shipping fee. You know, Maybe he's shipping it to some weird place that costs you a lot of money. So you put the order in a little more expensive, or maybe he wants it COD and you want to charge extra for that. Here's where you can sort of override a bunch of the, the settings. Scroll down a little bit more, you'll see a skip next auto ship button. This is because the reality of network marketing is people always call up and say, oh, I'm a little tight on cash this month. You know, can you just skip this month? Well, in our system, you push a button, that happens. And then, of course, what always happens is right after they've told you to skip it, they find that big leader, right? And they phone you back, oh, my God, you know, I told you to skip my auto ship, but if you skip my auto ship, I'm not going to get paid. So please, 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 please put an auto ship through for me. Okay push the button, it happens, okay? So it's made to be very user-friendly, very easy to use, and very efficient for your customer support representatives to, to do things. Um, you also can set what day their auto ship's processed on. So if you want to do a daily auto ship, our system can handle that. You want to do a weekly auto ship, system can handle that. So you can actually process all of your auto ships every day, every week, every month, whatever you want to do. Uh, and then you'll also see that they have the ability, or you have the ability, to add addresses and change around your addresses at the auto ship level as well. Then at the very bottom, you'll see that there's actually a special place for notes relating to auto ship. Any notes you put in this section will show up in this section and the other section, but only the ones towards auto ship will show up here exclusive. Scroll to the top, and let's go down to invoices. Invoices is just a list of all of the invoices that this person has ever done with your company. So everything that they've ever purchased within the company you'll see listed here. If you're in a triple center binary type of a scenario, that'll actually show what amount of volume is in each center and all this kind of thing. And also the refund button. If you're connected to a credit card gateway, any purchases that came in by credit card will have the ability to be refunded with the click of a button by the credit card gateway. If their money didn't come in by the credit card gateway, then the option to refund by credit card won't exist because most gateways don't allow you to refund to a card that never had a charge on it. If you click on order number 10244, you'll see that we can actually drill down and get even more information about what this order was. If you click on the printable version, that'll actually bring you up a blank type invoice so that you could actually reprint it for this person. So the purpose of the printable invoice is if someone ever wants a reprint mailed to them, you can pop it open and it'll give you something that's easy to print without all the extra graphics and stuff on it. But redistribute volume, that is really only for a binary and it's only really for a binary that has three centers. So if you have a three center binary and somebody places an order and tells you to put all the volume in, in center two, that's great, but then when they realize that they already had a maxed leg on Center 2 and they really want it in Center 3, they may come back and ask you to change it. We give the ability in our binary software to change multi-center volume. This, of course, does not show to the member. This is only an admin function. Uh, let's go down to Summary. Left-hand menu down to Summary, right under Invoices. 